Let's get started. In this lesson, we're going to create our first HTML document. And I'm also going to introduce the concept of tags, the main concept that you need to know when creating HTML pages. So the very first thing I need you to do is to create or select a specific folder inside of your computer. You can place it anywhere that you like. So in my case, I've created this folder called HTML, and this is where we'll be putting all of the files that we create. Then I need you to open up your code editor and I'll be using Atom, but there are plenty of other amazing free code editors out there and you're free to use any code editor that you like. In Atom, what I've done is gone to File, Open Folder, and I've found the fo selected the folder that I created. So it shows here, HTML. We don't have any files in there yet. So that's the first thing we'll do. We'll create a new file. So I'm gonna click here and go to New File. And I'm gonna call this new file index.html. Index.html is a common name for the main page in your website. So I'm gonna press Enter and that creates a new file. So the very first thing that you can see is that HTML documents or HTML files are actually text files. There's nothing magical about them. It's simply text. And it's a way for us to tell the browser, tell the web browser how we want, uh, what we want to be shown on the page. So if you go to your folder now and you open this, I'll be using, I'll be using Google Chrome, but you're free to use again, any, any browser that you want, you'll see that it shows as a page. It only says hello. Let's say now that I want to have a main title on my page. So I want to have main title and you'll see what happens when I save that. Everything shows in the same line. So that's one uh, truth about HTML is that lines don't matter unless you find a way to tell the browser that you need a new line. So going back to our title, we need to tell the browser this is a title of a top level title. So this is a top level title, but the browser doesn't speak English. So it just shows you the instructions as if it was more text. So this is not the right way of communicating with the browser. That's when HTML tags come into play. There are HTML tags for titles and they go all the way from title one, which is the main title to title six. So title one would be the very main title. Then you can have a secondary title, which is H2 and then H3, H4. So I'm going to create a H1 tag. And I've opened a, new, a tag in this way. I use the, these two signs and then the name of my tag, which is H1. Now, the best way to understand tags is to look at a sandwich. In a sandwich, you always have an opening, a part of the bread. Then you have your content of your sandwich. And then you always need to have a closing part. It wouldn't make sense to make a sandwich that doesn't have a closing part. It would all just fall apart. So it's the same thing in this case. If you save this and refresh your page, you'll see that even hello is included in the title because we haven't closed this tag. So we're going to close this tag now. The way to close a tag is by using the uh, for slash character and then the same name of the previous tag. So if I save that and refresh the page, you see that now we've get, we get this correctly. So I also want to have a secondary title. And I have to say that in a lot of code editors, every time that you open a tag, the closing tag is created automatically. And I've disabled that here just so that we can make the process very explicit. So don't be afraid if in some code editors, if you do this and then all of a sudden a closing one appears right away. So the last thing that I wanted to say for this lesson is how we can create new lines. Because imagine that I have something like hello world and then I have something else and I would like those things to be in different paragraphs. So I can use the paragraph tag, the P tag. And that allows me to place an amount of content, which can be as long as I want, as much as I want in its own paragraph. And that will allow us to have different paragraphs. So that's about it when it comes to HTML tags, as in the very first approach. To summarize, a HTML 
files are simply text files that have the HTML extension. Index.html is commonly used to name your, your main file. If you just open that in the browser, it will show as a web page, assuming that you're using tags, because tags is the way for us to tell the browser what this is in, in terms of the structure of the document. Tags are like a sandwich, the way you use them. You have to open your sandwich, you put in your filling, and you have to close your sandwich. There are other cases that we'll look into, but this is the very core one. So every time that you open a tag, don't forget to close it. Every time you close it, don't forget to add the forward slash. So it's easy to get this, this wrong. Browsers are very forgiving and they will, even if you miss one tag, they, they will sort of try to guess what it is that you are trying to achieve. But these sort of things can lead to a lot of problems down the road.